The Halbert White Prize in Economics is awarded annually to the most outstanding senior economics major as evidenced by excellence in departmental coursework and creativity in the junior paper and the senior thesis. Hal White is a famous econometrician. Students will remember the so-called White Standard Errors for Econometrics and the 1972 valedictorian. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Hickok. His senior thesis is on the existence and extent of localized knowledge spillovers. Congratulations to Nate. I'm incredibly honored to receive this prize. I owe a special debt of gratitude to all of my friends and family for their support and encouragement and also to all of the wonderful faculty members who I've had the pleasure of learning from over these past four years. I especially want to thank Professor Pessendorfer, as well as my junior independent work advisor, Professor Ergen, and my senior thesis advisor, Professor Redding, for all the guidance that they've given me. When I first began my thesis, I didn't have any idea quite how topical it would become. The central idea was to study how knowledge about some new invention spreads and in particular to measure the extent to which inventors who lived close to the source of some invention were more likely to learn about it than inventors who lived farther away. One of the most interesting things I found was that despite all of the technological advances of the past half century, the advantage of being physically close to other inventors hasn't decreased over time. In fact, quite the opposite has happened. It has actually increased significantly. And this geographic advantage is most pronounced in the industries that you would expect to be the most tech savvy, like software and pharmaceuticals. Back in March, when I was writing my thesis, this phenomenon felt a bit hard to understand. After all, you would think that smartphones and laptops and especially the internet would have been something of a distance equalizer. But I think that Perhaps spending the last few months on Zoom has made it a bit clearer that there's just nothing quite like working together in person. For instance, and I think most of my fellow classmates would agree with this, oftentimes the best learning happens outside of the kind of organized setting that can be recreated virtually. This was essentially one of the major conclusions of my thesis, that even if you have advanced communications technology, it doesn't replace being geographically close as much as it complements it and allows people who are already close to each other to work together even more productively. So in that spirit, I wanna say a virtual congratulations to all of my classmates, but even more, I look forward to celebrating together in person next year. 